Hello, I'm Marky Joe 1990 here with. I'm the Chimp Master. Yes, it is the Chimp Master, and we're both gonna do a commentary on Circle of the Moon, possibly for the rest of the game. I don't know for sure. In any case, let's click play. Right, click now. It's gonna All be right. beautiful. I swear. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going from the Cerberus room all the fucking way to the entrance of the castle to get the holy fucking boomerang of Jesus. It's the best and weapon. You guys are not going to believe it. Yeah, honestly, the cross in this game is the only noteworthy sub-weapon. I, I think I said this in the, in the first part, too. <laughs> well, I mean, are we including item crashes from the DSS cards? Because if that's the case, uh, there's some better ones there. Hydro <laughs> <laughs> that in case in point. Actually, isn't there a spell card that just does Hydro Storm? <laughs> I don't actually know for sure, but I can't uh, wait to get that card because I some of the DSS cards in this game are really cool, while others are sort of why. <laughs> can, can, can we spoil some of the cards? Because I, I know there's a couple of cool ones that I really love. All right, sure, go ahead. Uh, like the summon cards. I don't know if you remember those. Oh yeah, I remember those. Even better, just do it mid an mid animation. Switch your card around to some stat boost. It does like twice the damage. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even know that. Yeah, like the thing about the game is that whenever you activate your DSS system, the game doesn't forget to pause your DSS. You you can pause your game and switch your DSS cards, and it changes the effect of what you're doing. It's really huh. stupid. I see. Oh yeah, like somewhere around here, I actually start struggling with the controls. Thankfully, my friend Rumia, also known as, also known as Wandering Rumia on YouTube, uh, Rumia actually told me a trick that allows me to immediately start dashing by hitting left, then right, or vice versa. Makes navigating a lot easier. I just freaking wish the running was not stupid at all to begin with. Right, where you didn't have to continuously tap. I love the name of this place, Triumph Hallway. Meanwhile, we've got poor men trying to tilt their way onto Nathan. Well, I mean, this whole game should just be called, called Triumph Game, because it's such a shining example of game display. Just look at the graphics. <laughs> They're so shiny. Uh, actually... If there's one thing I will not hate on Circle of the Moon for, it's their graphics. They really tried to compensate for the uh, darkness, because as you can tell on this emulator, uh, it's really bright. <laughs> Harmony of Dissonance... Oh, sorry, sorry, but Harmony of Dissonance is a lot brighter. Oh no, it is, but they, they tried to keep an atmosphere too, unlike Harmony of Dissonance, where everything glows. True. Uh, Alright, so... Since I got the cross, now I'm gonna head over to the Necromancer, kick his ass, and then get the tackle spell. And by me, and by kick his ass, I mean barely manage to survive against. Oh, don't spoil it for him. Let them figure that part out. Oh <laughs> uh, well, but, I, I, mean, I, I thought I'd let them know that. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, he sucks. What one, one star? This comment. Oh, we can't say one star anymore, can we? Um, nope. bombs down. <laughs> Is that the system these days? I don't pay attention anymore. <laughs> How well, often? Was I the last time you were on YouTube. <laughs> Where am I? What? <laughs> I don't know. When was my last video uploaded? <laughs> I don't know. Um. So anyway, we. Uh, I'm actually focusing on killing a lot of the axe armors in this area because they dropped the Mandragora card, which I'm going to be using against the boss, and that thing is kind of nice to have around. I hate leather armors. I hate I hate copper bronze armors too are the same thing. Because that's all you get in drops. That's it. <laughs> what's, this, what's this potion nonsense? You don't get any of the drops. Also, the uh, electric skeleton that I just killed, he drops the golem card, which if you use it in conjunction with... what What's his face? I don't um, know, but like the guy who makes your whip different, if you use golem in conjunction with your whip... You get an extended whip that kind of looks stupid. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be, um, what is it called? Nebula. Nebula. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's supposed to be ne Nebula. Yeah. I had no clue. I thought Nebula like, was like the one from Portrait of Ruin that, like, chases after enemies. Well, I mean, in Dawn of Sorrow, it's the whip sword, too, but it, it's, it's supposed to just be really super long. Oh. I don't remember. 
I don't remember the one in Dawn of Sorrow being particularly long range. No, it wasn't. It wasn't super long, but it was. Uh, it was different. It was, it was longer than your normal whip sword. <laughs> First time my brother played this game, which yes, he was the one who owned this game when I was a kid. Uh, when we came across those devil towers, and we saw them move, we were like, "Oh my god, what the fuck!" <laughs> it moves. Uh, I don't know. He could see them move. It was kind of creepy, because they looked like background, and then suddenly, fuck! Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you can tell that they actually moved, because if they just looked like they were background and you kept running into them, that would be another reason why not to play Circle of the Moon. <laughs> and there's our Mandragora card. Hooray! Finally, you get a Vine Whip. Eat your heart out, Simon. When was the last time the series had a Vine Whip? Oh, uh, Castlevania 2. <laughs> Yeah, Castlevania 2 had a lot of interesting ideas. Yeah, but it was a really experimental game, if nothing else. But, uh... Yeah, some of it is bullshit. I can't... <laughs> Fucking leather armor! Oh, if there's... Right. If there's anything I can praise Castlevania 2 for, it's that it has a really unsettling atmosphere about it. Which is surprising. Well, I mean... It's, it's an unsettling game in general, if you want to think about it. You're dying, bro. Have fun. <laughs> and now for the boss. Now for our award-winning dialogue. Car Carmilla? Oh my god, you survived falling down 500 feet! That's because I don't fuck with gravity. Or rather, I, I, I do. <laughs> I, I don't know this person. <laughs> Necromancer's like, oh yeah, we caught your master, so... <laughs> you know, no more BDSM for you. Oh no, hmm. Nathan Graves, you, you slut you. Mm. I do horrible on this fight. I get hit like 50 billion times. I don't know, you didn't die. That's the only thing that matters, really. <laughs> True, but it's not going to work well for me in the next part because I never go... Well, I do go to save points, it's just I never save. And it'll probably be very annoying that I have not that much... Oh, wait... What the oh, fuck I mean, am I talking about? I can just go back to the save point that was yeah, like five it's, it's seconds right, away. It's, it's right there, bro. If you die between the save point and the boss door, I'm gonna kind of be ashamed of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, the electric skeleton was too much. You know what? Fuck electric skeleton. I hate those little bastards. They're you not as super them. annoying. It, it's just, every time I jump, I run into them shit. I think they're kind of designed so that if you just run and jump and whip them, you'll get hit and, like, trade blows with them. Like, every single time. I think it's you... actually... Oh, oh, sorry, no. I was gonna I say, I'm it's... wondering if you could level up on the zombies, the skeletons. But... Possibly. I mean... Not like they really matter. Like, this guy's summoning is completely pointless, because the enemies he summons do, like, one or two damage to you. I know, I was just curious if they actually would level you up. His only real dangerous attacks are... The ones he does in his first phase that don't involve summoning, and his green ball of ricochet. Eat your heart out, ricochet rock. I don't, I don't even know how he how he manages to like not be in that ball. He sort of just transforms into it, and you can see none of him inside it. Oh yeah. One level up, two level up, three level up. Yo ho ho. Expect to see that a lot in Circle of the Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I. Oh. Here's my dance. I know Whoa. Master is still alive because I'm a mind reader. What am I mind reading? I have no clue, but it works. Oh, and finally, you get useless, the ability. <laughs> it's like the best ability in the game. You I don't know. Rush actually, you're going like a retard and then slip. Well, actually, if you're just going through the castle and you just need to clear out a couple of enemies, later levels, it does enough damage. <laughs> Well, well, goodbye, everybody. Wait, whoa, whoa. It... Oh, 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 we're doing more? Uh, well, I guess we gotta say our outro thing. Like, oh, what, what are we gonna Mar say? <laughs> Marky Joe 1990 and... A chimp master. <laughs> signing out, and stay tuned for possibly more, depending on my face. Part 20. Uh, where's the... There it is. Block.